nothing better than watching ducks and dogs work. Hi, I'm Matt Chouinard with Delta Waterfowl, here with the January Migration Update, brought to you by Kent Cartridge. Like I said, it's early January. Duck season in Canada and the northern parts of the, the U.S. are starting to close down, but uh, really starting to heat up as we get further south in the flyways. Got our first big cold front hitting North Dakota and South Dakota over the next few days, and expect the action to really heat up. We've got some great updates for you. We'll start off with some in the Mississippi and Central Flyways. Hey guys, coming to you with a quick migration report. Um, well, we're into the uh, last month of the season here uh, in the South. Um, you know, it's been uh, been pretty tough, uh, pretty stale birds around the last few weeks. Uh, warm temps, um, water conditions have not been the best this season. But I think that's going to change uh, over the next uh, two to three weeks. Um, got some rain in the forecast, some some cooler temperatures uh, up in the Midwest. So we should should see another push of birds come in. Uh, once uh, once it does rain uh, and we get some, uh, some water on these spots, uh, that have been somewhat dry, you might want to go take a look at, at those areas uh, and scout them out. Uh, those those ducks are going to be looking for uh, for new water sources uh, and things of that nature. Concealment, uh, make sure your blinds and pits are, are concealed in good. Uh, that's going to be a key factor into killing these late season birds. Uh, so I uh, hope everybody has had a, a pretty decent season. I know it's not been the best uh, like we'd hoped for, but I think the next couple of weeks is going to be be pretty good and, and, and it's going to be all right. So be safe out there uh, and uh, take somebody hunting that's, uh, that hasn't been this year uh, and be safe. Well, we're starting to get some cold weather finally and uh, got some more predicted. Hopefully that pushes some birds down, get some, some things frozen up above us. Uh, talking to guys around the area, still kind of tough in a lot of spots, but it's starting to pick up a little bit. Um, some days you may go and, and get two or three and the next day you may get 10 or 15, but that's kind of, kind of the higher end of the reports I get. Um, a lot of green wing teal still around, uh, a few gray ducks, a few pintails, if you can get them to come in and, uh, a lot of geese showing up in central Arkansas down to the Louisiana, Arkansas line, seeing a lot of speckled bellies, uh, kind of in that part of the world, but, um, Good luck the rest of the way. Hopefully this front pushes some birds down and um, still got good opportunity, hopefully to have some great, great hunts in the field and uh, everybody be safe out there and finish strong and good luck the rest of your season. In the East Texas area, specifically Longview, Texas, uh, we're still not seeing the bird numbers like we have in the past. Um, especially in the big ducks, uh, your mallards, gadwall. Um, I guess gadwall have been okay. Uh, mallards specifically have been very low. Um, starting to see a few more teal. Um, obviously we have a lot of wood ducks there. Um, but overall, um, numbers have been lower. Just haven't had a big push this year yet. So see we had a good hunt today down in the south zone. Ducks are showing up. I'm not sure if we've really picked up any birds yet or if it's just this weather's got birds stirred up and it's been pretty good the last couple days. We're going to go into a really hard freeze in Missouri over the next few days. Everything's going to freeze up. Even the big lakes are going to start freezing. Those birds are going to have to go somewhere. Some of them will stay in dry feed, some the rivers, but I think a lot of ducks are going south. we got a lot of odd ducks up here right now, too. Tons of teal, gadwall, shovelers. Those ducks are going to vacate Missouri, head down to Arkansas and Louisiana. You guys in the southern part of the flyways, get ready. They're coming. Y'all be safe out there with this cold weather in the coming days. Get out in the field and have fun. Thanks, guys, for the great updates. Glad to hear some birds are moving south and that there's some good hunts to be had. I think it's only going to get better as you get in the southern end of the flyways because we're going to have below zero temperatures for highs over the next several days, and, and that's extending way down into even into Missouri, as, as some of the guys said. Well, now we've got some updates from our coastal flyways. Good shot. 2024, the motto of the duck hunter in the Atlantic flyway, don't ever give up. It has been a, a tough year thus far. Everybody knows across the country that it's been uh, unseasonably warm. 
Uh, no snowpack up north. Uh, folks, uh, folks are finding places that aren't frozen that should have been frozen three months ago. Uh, but Atlantic Flyway d duck hunters and uh, waterfowl hunters are making the best of it. I've talked to a lot of guys that are having really good success uh, with uh, some goose hunts, uh, Canada geese um, in the fields. Um, I know that I was up in up north a couple of weeks ago. Um, my kids and I and some friends uh, had uh, some good branch shoots. Um, but the ducks have been uh, thin uh, thus far. Um, a lot of the big south winds and unseasonably warm weather we've had um, really isn't uh, doing anybody any favors as far as ducks migrating south. Um, but I know guys that are having success. Their uh, birds are very concentrated into one spot in one area. Um, but there's no uh, big migration to report here on the Atlantic Flyway to date. Um, looking at the 10-day uh, forecast, it looks like it's going to get pretty cold um, up north, which could do us all a favor, uh, being that there's probably 20-plus days left in the season for many of us here on the Atlantic Flyway. Um, so keep after it. Get out there. Don't give up. Um, the ducks want to see you just as much as you want to see them. Well, the bright spot for us here in the West has been the Snake River over the last 30 days, as they've seen an influx of mallards, widgeon, and pintail. We certainly hope that continues for them through the last couple of weeks of our season. Elsewhere, it's a tell of two stories. You're either having the season of your life or you're having the opposite. You've hardly harvested a duck. In fact, many hunters have just simply thrown in the towel because it's not worth going out and hunting public lands anymore. Others have changed their strategies and they're chasing ducks that they normally wouldn't chase, such as divers in in areas that, that they haven't pursued them in the past. Um, an example of a strange the strange season we're having is on December 31st in extreme northern Utah, a good friend of mine harvested a blue winged teal drake, one of four blue winged teal in a small flock over a mostly frozen marsh. Uh, just Just a strange, strange season talking with middle-aged hunters throughout the last month. People are talking about how they just simply have never seen a season like this before in their lifetimes. And we hope to never see a season like this again in our lifetimes uh, here in the West. Just been a strange one. We hope that you continue to get out there and make an effort in these final couple of weeks with your family and friends. Harvest the last few ducks that you can and enjoy it while we have it. We'll see you again next month as we report on late season goose hunts. Howdy folks, out here in the PNW, the reports across the entire region are that it's pretty slow. You can find some ducks, but it takes an awful lot of work. The ducks that are here are stale. They're rafting up in their safe spaces. And what we really need is some cold weather to happen north of us. These warmer than you know usual temperatures are kicking our butts. We haven't seen the real migration that we are looking for. Uh, however, there is some cold weather happening to the north. Uh, some big cells pushing through, some snow, some ice, some cold. We may have a chance to salvage the last couple weeks here. We got a couple weeks of duck season left, and then we got our late season goose. With that being said, why don't you guys get out there, do some work, look for this cold weather. If that happens, it might just turn on for us, and we might be able to salvage a season. We'll see you out there, Winchester and I. Hope you have a good rest of your season. Take a new person out. Enjoy the last few weeks. We'll see you soon. Well, thanks guys. It sounds like it's been pretty tough hunting. It's been like that in a lot of places, but honestly, with the weather coming up here over the next week, I think these last few weeks of the season, if your season's still open for ducks, is the time to get out there. As always, we thank you for watching our migration updates, and we'll be back in February with another one.